Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. So not that long ago, I saw a post on Facebook by somebody asking if it was possible to do a still photo and combining that with some kind of a smoke from a cigarette inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. And of course, that is absolutely possible. And um, I actually want to show you two different ways you can do that, either with doing a um, overlay smoke or by using some fast noise in future. And so without further ado, let's jump into that video. Oh, and by the way, if you are new to this channel and want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and having a look at some pretty cool gear, I would recommend you to subscribe for the channel. Okay, let's go to the video. Okay, so let's get started. So first off, we are going to take this photo of a pretty famous politician. And here we have a smoke layer. And if we look at the smoke layer, it is pretty fast. And I want this to be a little bit slow. So I'm going to right click and just going to change speed. And I'll change the speed to, let's say, 50%. And I'm just going to push change. So now we have this very slow steam or smoke, and that's what we want. Then I'm just going to fit the smoke to the bottom clip. Going to highlight the clip and uh, I'll go up to the inspector and um, we'll take care of the transparency here. So first off, I am going to change in the composite mode to screen. And uh, that's basically it. So now the position isn't right. So I'm just going to click this icon here and I'm going to drag the smoke so it will be at the right position. Of course, we need to fix this a little bit still. So I'll go into the color tab. I'll zoom out a bit here. I'll change or take the smoke layer, go into the mask and I'm just going to take a curve mask and I'm just going to draw a shape that kind of fits the cigar here. And I'm just going to make it fit the picture actually. So we don't have smoke out in the black bars here inside. So basically that is the beginning of it. I'll go over to the grid, right click, and then I'm going to add an alpha out. I'm going to drag this into the blue dot here. And uh, now we have a composite with smoke. And I'll go back to the color because I do need to do a little bit of the softness with the mask inside and outside and some softness. Uh, and here we have like a basic compositing, but I want to do a little bit more. I want to add in some movements. So the easiest way to do that, of course, is to highlight both of our clips and then right click and then go up and make a new compound clip. And in this case, I'll just write smoke and create. So this is my compound clip. And the easiest way to do some kind of an animation on this is of course, just to highlight the clip, go up to our transform and put in some keyframes at the beginning of the clip, go to the end and put in again some keyframes. In this case, I'm just doing it in the zoom and might as well do it again also in the position here, something like that, and zoom in a little bit. So now I have this little animation here. So that is how you actually add smoke into a old photo. I'll show you another method. If you do not have any smoke assets or couldn't find it, I'll just take a old photo here of Johnny Wayne. And, um, and we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it inside of Fusion. And in this case, we're going to use fast noise, which is right here. And we're going to drag in fast noise in the grid here. And I'm just going to connect this fast noise with a merge. And now we have, of course, way too much smoke and um, doesn't look right. So in the fast noise, we are going to go into the details. And we're going to bump that up quite a bit and then um, play around with the contrast until we find something we actually like. And we can also brighten up our smoke. 
a little bit and then we can scale it up as well something like that i think is good and then of course we can also bump up the seats a little bit so we have some movement and also the seat rate we will bump that out just a bit so now we have this smoking moving thing here a little less something like that okay so let's go to the beginning of our composition and let's take in a polygon and let's just draw a shape so now everything disappeared but i know that i want to draw a shape by the way if you want to zoom in pretty fast you can push down control and use the scroll wheel on your mouse so we can zoom in and out pretty fast like that so first off i am just going to draw a shape here where i think the smoke should be okay like that okay and then i am just going to in the polygon i'm going to soften the edges quite a bit like that and now let's zoom out a bit here we go and let's see what we have so now we have this fog just bouncing around moving very much at all so i'll uh, go into again into my fast noise here go to the beginning of my fast noise and in the center i'm going to put in a keyframe and then i'll just go to the end of the clip and then i'm just going to bump that upwards so the steam will go upwards so that that's what we have now still it is pretty <laughs> A pretty um, wild smoke but I'll do a little trick more I'm going to add in a polygon more and then I'm just going to do another shape where I think it could be nice to have smoke so I'm, again I'm just doing some kind of a curve here again you can do whatever you want but uh, I think that would be nice to have like a curve of smoke which is in the other smoke and going away from the other mask as well like that okay we're just going to i'm not going to do a big area i'm just going to do a rather thin line zooming in here again doing a super quick mask to make this thing look a little more nice again there we go almost there so it's just going to be like a very subtle little smoke or line of smoke here that and then we just do the last drop here or last bit here like that and then again we are going to be in the polygon with that selected i might go into the merge just to see how it is and of course now it is way too obvious so we'll go into the polygon too and i'm going to soften the edges quite a bit here so there we have a little extra smoke i'll bump down the softness just a little bit because it's a very thin line so it's absolutely a little more there like that great so a thing you could do of course is to go into the merge and um, you can use here the sub subtractive and the additive also you can play around with the blend modes of course if you you want to do that and you can see that does different things than some of them which you shouldn't do <laughs> but i mean you can you can play around with the uh, composite mode or the apply mode as well 
So, and that will give you some different looks. In this case, I'm just going to go into normal and I'm going to use the subtractive here. And I'm just going to bump that down quite a bit. I'm trying to blend this uh, into my footage. I also have a blending option, which I can use just a little bit as well. And there we have it. Like that. And here we have that little effect. The last thing to do is to add in some movements by adding in a transform node. And uh, in this case, we are going to transform or move uh, the center here. And also, I think we would move the sizing a little bit. So I'm just going to add in some keyframes. And um, let's see. First off, let's just... <laughs> delete our keyframes, put that on zero and go back to the beginning of our timeline before we put in our keyframe, which is a very clever thing to do. It will make things a lot easier. Again, into the center, into the size. And then I'll go to the end of the clip and I'm going to size it up and like that, I think. And then I'm going to use the center to center Johnny Wayne in the frame. And that's all I'm going to do with this, I'll go into the Edit tab and you can have a look at it right here. That's how that effect actually looks. So that is how you do that effect inside of the Vince Resolve, either in the Edit tab or in the Fusion page. And using old photos like this can be quite nice if you're doing some kind of a documentary about famous persons or something like that. And also it's Pretty fun just to add in, for instance, the old film look filter in DaVinci Resolve and then put in some music and you have a scene. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.